Hey everyone, Kibi King 77 here from the AC Syndicate team here to do a video doing a full review on the FH13 leaked ice cream sandwich build on the Samsung Epic 4G Touch from Sprint. So um, I do have a video showing you how to install it. You should probably check that out just because I talk about whether you have to have a uh, your data reset or not. Um, if you are having any issues after you use no data, you can uh, go into stock recovery and do wipe cache. You can try that, that should actually fix any issues. Um, or if any applications are forced closing, what you can do is actually go into settings um, and then go ahead and go find applications and then select all and then find whatever application is not working. Let's say for example, voicemail wasn't working. I could go into it and then hit clear data right there and that should fix some issues if you happen to have any. I hit reset user data. Uh, but anyways, this is the FH13 uh, leaked build. FH13 is from August 13th. That is the build date. FF18, which is obviously the latest official ice cream sandwich build, was from June 18th. So, I mean, it's almost two months later. Uh, they should have hopefully fixed any issues you are having. From what I have heard, it has fixed some battery issues that some people were having. So, if you're having some battery issues on FF18, you might want to consider updating to FH13. I do want to go back into settings, scroll down, go to about phone. You will see right there, build number FH13. Of course, my how-to video also updated the modem to FH13, uh, but you will see it is still Android 4.0.4, unfortunately not Jelly Bean. I did see an article, I think yesterday, talking about how the Galaxy S2 was probably gonna get Jelly Bean, so I would assume the Epic 4G Touch will, but again, no idea when. We all knew know about uh, the whole ice cream sandwich fiasco and how long it actually took for our device. So it'll be interesting to see if Samsung actually uh, put some time and effort into getting Jelly Bean to this device. Otherwise though, um, differences, I really can't find any visual differences. I, I really looked through and tried. I press and hold the home button, you will see the recent running list still has that little gap down at the bottom, that visual bug there. Again, I don't know if it's a bug or not, but it looks kind of goofy, so I would assume it's a bug. Uh, but uh, Task Manager is very smooth when scrolling through. Of course, you can swipe away your different applications to get rid of them. But you'll see now that there's only three, there is no gap, there is no basically clear gap there. So again, it would look much better if it was always like this, but uh, I guess it's, I don't know if it's a bug or that's just something they decided to do. Otherwise though, um, with turbo scrolling that some of you guys have experienced, it feels better than FF18. It doesn't completely jump on you nearly as much, so it feels better with the scrolling. It's still, I mean, if you really flick it, it can really jump down to the top and bottom. I have actually a lot of files on here. But I mean, you can really control it. I feel like it's a little bit better than FF18 or FF18, it was somewhat difficult to control, but I'm sure a lot of you guys are used to it by now, as of course you use it for enough, you'll obviously get used to it. Um, in our app drawer, there's really no apps on any different applications. I mean, I did a full factory reset and this included all the stock applications, really nothing to point out, nothing out of the ordinary. Of course, I think you can still go into Sprint ID and change it to My ID, and then you got your stock ice cream sandwich launcher, so they have not removed that. Thankfully, again, a lot of people do like having this option for this stock launcher, uh, but I mean, it feels very smooth. I haven't had, had any lag issues at all, of course. You can obviously take pictures. I haven't uh, seen any changes um, with inside applications either. Sometimes you might see little changes here and there, maybe like a little visual thing within the messaging application or something. Also, I believe swipe issues are fixed, so if you had any issues with swipe in the past, again, might wanna consider updating because I think swipe has been fixed. Uh, otherwise though, I mean, it's, it's, it's very smooth. I, I haven't had any lag issues going through certain applications, opening, closing them, and uh, all that good stuff. Uh, no icons have changed. I mean, pull down notifications or you'll see everything's just about the same. The reason I wanted to do this review video, I knew it was gonna be a quick one because it didn't change too much from FF18, was just kind of, I know a lot of people were gonna ask me, so I figured I would just do it and so and just talk about as much as possible just because uh, i knew you guys would have questions about it uh, but i mean this is definitely something to consider updating to especially if you are on stock ff18 and are having issues or just don't like it you might want to consider updating like whether you're having lag issues battery issues signal issues uh, you might want to consider 
installing this leaked FH13 Android 4.0.4 ice cream sandwich build just due to the fact that it's later and it should definitely be an improvement on FF18. Otherwise though, if you have any questions at all or any comments, if you're running this, you have to let everyone know what you think of it, um, whether you like this build better than FF18 or not. I'm sure you will. I don't see why you wouldn't, obviously, because it's a later build and it's not a different OS, so it's not like there's there should be any bugs, any new bugs whatsoever. So, um, But other than that though, let me know what you think. Be sure to leave a comment. Be sure to subscribe as well. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Google+. All links will be in the description of the video below. As always, thanks for watching. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up.